May the 13th is the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. On the 13th of May 1917, Our Blessed Lady appeared for the first of six times to three shepherd children, Lucia, Jacinta and Francisco. And over those six months, Our Lady asked them to pray the rosary for peace, to do penance and to consecrate themselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Now we know that 1917 was a very difficult time in world history. There was the Great War taking place, there was the revolution in Russia. And our Blessed Lady told the children that they must pray for peace, that unless they prayed for peace there would be another war in the 20th century and that Russia would continue to spread her errors throughout the whole world. Well, for the sceptics, for those who didn't believe, our Blessed Lady said that she would perform a great miracle on the final apparition on the 13th of October. And on that occasion, some 70,000 people gathered and saw a great spectacle of the sun as it spun in the heavens and plunged to the earth, filling everyone with a great fear and a sense of dread. Since then, the message of Fatima has become very well known throughout the world. It's a dynamic message. And in a sense, the message of Fatima is a kind of compendium of our Catholic faith. It was on the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, 1981, that the assassination attempt took place on Pope John Paul, now Saint John Paul, of course, the second. Speaking of that occasion, the Pope said, one hand pulled the trigger, another hand guided the bullets. One of the bullets ricocheted off the Holy Father's finger as he was driving in the Jeep, and it hit the person, another person in the crowd, embedding itself in her chest. That particular woman was a Pole. She was from the same village as the Pope in Poland, and she was born, in fact, on the very same day. The other bullet entered the Holy Father's abdomen and came out of his back, falling into the floor of the Jeep. Well, as we know, the Pope made a miraculous recovery. And the following year, he went to Fatima on the 13th of May, 1982, to give thanks to our Blessed Lady. The bullet that uh, entered the Pope's body was placed into the crown and is still in the crown on the head of Our Lady statue in Fatima. Three years ago, for the centenary, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, paid a visit to Fatima to give thanks in the same way for the great graces of this Marian apparition. And on that occasion, Pope Francis said, to be Christian, you must be Marian. And so this feast this year again reminds us that we have to draw close to our Lord through the hands of his mother, that we have to try to fulfil her requests of praying the rosary every day for peace. And especially at this time, at this time of great crisis and darkness in our world, to implore our Blessed Lady, as we try to do every day here through the rosary, for her gracious intercession, for her love and mercy and protection. So let's go to our Blessed Lady in this month of May and on this feast of Our Lady of Fatima, renew that desire we have to pray the Holy Rosary in our families, in, as individuals and in our parish families for the intentions of peace and harmony in our world. God bless you.